we are going to discuss two topics that is pages and blocks. So what is a page and what is a block? Data files are decomposed into pages. Fix each piece of contiguous information in the file. Unit of exchange between disk and the main memory. We know that database will be containing multiple data files and each and every data file the respective data will be shared or will be distributed into multiple fixed sized continuous information that is known as a page. And through this page the database and the respective disk will be communicating. So unit of exchange between the disk and the main memory which is being accessed by the database. Disk divided into page size blocks of storage. We know that disk is a block storage that means its content will be distributed into multiple blocks and the content will be divided into multiple blocks. So as a result of that, these blocks will be having the size same as that of the page size. Page can be stored in any block. So that means there is no dependency that this page will be going to which block. So that is no such dependencies there. Any page can be copied or can be stored onto any block. Applications request for read items satisfied by so application can perform two operations on a data item. One is a read, another one is a write. So here we'll be discussing the read and here we'll be going for the write operation discussion. So applications request for read item satisfied by read page containing item to buffer in the DBMS. So that means the page content will be brought back onto the buffer of the DBMS and transfer item from the buffer to the required application which was which demanded a read operation on the data item. Application request to change data item satisfied by, so these are the steps are there. So the data item which is going to be changed might be pre-existing into the memory or might not be pre-existing in the memory. So read page containing the item to the buffer in DBMS if it is not preloaded, if it is absent update item in the DBMS buffer. So now what is happening the same data item on the disk and same data item in the buffer of the DBMS now their instance values have got changed because update has taken place. So eventually copy the buffer page to the page on the disk. So in this way we are going for the synchronization back again. So in this diagram we shall clear this uh, respective theory whatever you have discussed through this respective diagram. So this is my DBMS. And here we are having multiple, this is a cache here, we can also known as that, a, we can call it as a buffers and these are nothing but the page frames where the page will reside. This is a disk and its storage space will be divided into multiple blocks. We know that disk storage space will be divided into multiple equal size blocks and this block size will be same as that of the page size. So whenever a block has been read then one of the page frames will be allocated for that to copy its content there. This is the respective application which is trying to access the data item from the databases. So from this buffer, from this cache, this data items will be made available to the respective application who has demanded. So accessing data through cache or say through buffer and this is known as item transfer. These are the page frames, obviously that is also a page frame. This is known as the page transfer either from the from this buffer to the disk or from the disk to the buffer or the main memory. So in this way this DBMS, this disk and the application they are sharing their data in between themselves. Thanks for watching this video.